fair shade, then that's not bloody a, a friendly place to be in the middle of. Britain's prison population is exploding. It's increased by 22,000 in the last decade. They cost almost two billion a year. It just seems a complete waste. The amount of money that we spend to keep these guys in there. This is costing us a fortune. There are some prison work schemes. The government say they want to create more. But in cash trap Britain, few offenders graft full time to pay anything back. The whole purpose of this is to get in there, set up a business, and to get them grafted. So I'm giving my time and energy to see if I can get offenders earning. Hello, Hi, it's Gordon Ramsay. It's taken nine months to persuade the Ministry of Justice to let me try and set up my pilot business in the notorious HMP Brixton. Sign that one. The governor's put the word out about my idea, and a few of the prisoners are curious about my plan to cook on the inside and sell on the outside. I do. My mobile phone, yeah. Brixton is a Victorian Category B prison with 800 inmates, locked up for anything from shoplifting to murder. Morning. How are you doing? Hi. Mark Westcalf, welcome Mark. to Brixton. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've handed all your personal items into the gate there? Uh, yeah, phone and everything. Phone and everything like yeah, that. Can I remind you to do that every day that you come? Certainly. Okay, okay. let's go inside. Officer Mark Westcalf is taking me into the heart of the prison. Here, the prisoners are kept in their cells up to 21 hours a day. If he tries to mug me up, I'll put him right in his place. I'm not about that. No problem. Someone to look in to be making fun of by him. Or anyone else. A lot of these people believe that they're going to do this and their lives will dramatically change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't think about Ramsey. He can be a bit fierce with the people that he's working with. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. I think he would lose a few people along the way. That's how it goes, you know, only the strong survive. The prisoners are housed in five separate wings. I have no idea who I'm going to be working with. If he's come here to change the world, I don't think he will. And I don't think long term it's going to be a winner. And how many uh, prisoners are in here? Uh, I believe it's 220 guys. Wow. Ninety percent of the criminals on this wing have serious drug or alcohol problems. It's easy to forget. 
Some of these prisoners are here for serious offences. How long are you for? Four years. Four years. For doing what? Oh, well, they found a shotgun under your bed. They found a shotgun under your bed. Some of these people are quite dangerous. You may get people screaming and shouting at you because you, you know, you're famous. So they might, they might want to have a pop. Please don't rise to it. No, no, no. We, we'll, we'll deal with it. You know what I mean? That's, that's definitely we're good. At. The mood has suddenly turned, and an offender is kicking off. All I can hear is my name. taken on is starting to sink in. In 2010, there were over 14,000 assaults in prison and nearly 3,000 attacks on staff. Recently, someone got their throat slit. Just a guy jumped up behind, took a brush, melted in and slit. Um, that's the kind of things that go on. You can feel it, it's like a sort of, it's a huge wave of pressure in there. Almost like it's bursting, it's so intense. Didn't see that at first. Every hour, yeah, it's just getting stronger and stronger. And stronger. I'm in Brixton Prison, where I'm trying to put the prisoners to work. They're going to cook on the inside to sell on the outside. It's time they paid something back. A posse of these bad boys are curious about my plan and have agreed to meet me in the chapel to hear more. There's 22 in all, from robbers and drug dealers to burglars and thieves. They're here for a reason, and so you can get complacent about these guys and, you know, and forget what they're actually here for and what they're capable of. They will lie to him, they will try and manipulate him, because that's what they do. I've got to get these guys on my side. I'm going to install a little bit of... Confidence. I've been all around this part. That's why I'm coming. Can't wait. So I saw all those. What do you mean for a bit of love? Decent bit of food. Starla. I'm not here to improve their grub, and this isn't going to be a fancy food treat for them. There you go. They aren't the most flexible of people in the way they think. What we've just seen, how a kitchen works, and how disciplined it is. To get prisoners to do that, on it very hard. Sign up for our free online officiating course. The officials, the biggest team in Aussie sport. The whole idea is getting up close. A chance to see what they're made of. Morning, guys. How are we? Why am I here? To build a kitchen and to get a production going and give you guys a chance to earn and learn and put back inside. He's our graft in it. He's proper graft in it. Yeah, he's proper graft. Listen, let's be honest. You get out of it, we put into it. What made you want to get involved with this? It's a good question, really. Um, 20 years ago, I got dealt a dysfunctional card. My little brother became a heroin addict and my father became an alcoholic. What do I do? Do I sit there and join my little brother? Or do I become an alcoholic alongside my father? No. I got off my ass. I stopped for feeling sorry for myself. And I got on with it. Put my head down, learned a craft. And that's the journey I'm hoping that we're gonna go on. Thank you. I think you played it well because he's He's, he's told us a bit about his, himself, his history, how he, how he became a cook and 
You know, he's told us about his family. I had less than six months to kick this motley crew into shape and try and mould them into a kitchen outfit that can pay its way. Have a seat, fellas. Just chill out for a moment, okay? But can any of them even cook a simple dish of scrambled eggs? Can I spot any talent here? Anthony, hi. Little task. Little plate of scrambled eggs, please. A burglar, Anthony Kelly, age 33, is a career criminal, having spent half his life in and out of prison. What job did you have before you got in? Prison. It's not I've never worked, mate. I'm ashamed of it to say it, really. I've always ducked and dived and that was no good, mate. I'm embarrassed about being in prison. I'm not proud of what I've done. I'm ashamed of what I've done. So, just ducked and dived all my life. I've given cocaine 10 years of age. I did. But um, that was that. I was in lockups, in and out of lockups all my life. <laughs> when was the last time you made some holiday? Um, at home, with my old woman. Nice. Um, yeah. There you go. You're getting romantic now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many men in football? Uh, 45 now, last month. Um, so yeah, 25 years. Been in football? No. You're kidding me, aren't you? Yeah. Football's Did you still play football, though? Yeah. Football's 90 minutes. Yeah. Cooking's 125 hours a week. Right, well, little <laughs> taste. Disgusting, man. If it was an omelette, it'd be alright. It'd be alright. Next up, 45 year old Londoner, Lawrence Gibbons. Is it a spelling mistake from there? Nine convictions or 79? I've got uh, 69, no, six, 69, yeah, 69, no, 76 convictions there. Now, what some people call crime, we call the way of life. My first, my first thing was uh, robbing post offices. This time it's assault that I'm in for. Whereas before I've been done for drugs. The fascinating thing about you is that we went to school together. I was 45 last month. How come you look older than me? I don't know, it must be with money you've got, you know what I mean? Please. I'm going to taste it. It's a ball ring. It's a bit overcooked. It's becoming apparent that I'm starting at rock bottom here. We've got a leak in the ceiling. What's like water? I don't know. It's burnt. It's a little bit burnt. burnt. A little bit burnt. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this lot can't tell their ass from their elbow. Tesla Jones from South London has been in trouble with the law since he was 12. At first time in? Um, no. No. I've, I've been in several times before. Times, yeah. I actually like, grew up in prison. You understand? I spent most of my, my teenage years in prison. The opportunity that I've got now, I mean, maybe I'm the next Gordon Ramsay. Maybe I'm the black Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you never know. That water came out of the side. What do you think that means? Um, what does that mean? It won't cook long enough. No, it's overcooked. It's overcooked. Way, yeah. Yeah. I think Tesla's willing to work hard, but he's a disaster in the kitchen. I didn't anticipate they would all be quite so useless. None of these reprobates has a clue how to cook. Long day. Yeah, that's a tough one. Quite a few decisions to make now. They're all shit. Really? He's got another job, man. And you know what? I fucking don't know how he's going to do it. He's got to be himself, I think. Don't try and be over the fucking hell. Fuck this. Fuck that egg world shit. Fuck all that. They grip your hands, they shake hands with you, and they let you know. And fuck with me. You know, a sort of chain feeling because you're just. This is five minutes from my house. I'm feeling like I'm the vulnerable one now, walking around with a target on my back. Ultimately, my bad boys will be cooking on the inside to sell on the outside. It's not going to be easy. And first, I've got to convince the prison governor, Ed Tullett, and his team about my plan for a working business kitchen. <sighs> Morning, everybody. This is the beginning of an ongoing project. The objective is to stand alone kitchen that can be a proper business within the prison. Kitchens can function from 
a thousand pound a week to you know fifty thousand pound a week in turnover the dream would be for to make money generate income and put back in we are we are a pretty cynical bunch you know we've seen projects come and go over the years and what we're really interested in is something which is sustainable and going to last that's the bit going forward that slightly worries me because kind of getting a business out of this, keeping the kitchen going, working it around our regime, it's going to be a massive task for Brixton. I know it's a big ask, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, my, 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 my balls are on the line. Being in a prison is not the same as being and working on the outside. The offenders, you know, you can't underestimate that they are not always an easy bunch to work with. They're not used to working on a nine-to-five basis. They're not necessarily used to... Um, to coming to work and being told what to do and then taking it the right way. It is a very new thing for them and they have to get used to it. In six months' time, I want to leave this prison with a, a proper working commercial kitchen. So right now I've got 22 incompetent prisoners and that's just way too much for me to handle. I'm going to scale it down and get a dynamic 12 for my bad boy brigade. <laughs> None of this lot can cook, but are they any good at anything? I've devised a test to see if any of them can learn to cook or sell what we cook to make money. If they can't do either, they're out. Morning. How are we? We're going to make some fairy cakes. We love them. I love a fairy cake. You like fairy cakes. What's the secret of a good fairy cake? I have a fucking clue, but I like it. It's pretty good. Now, I want to see your imagination go wild. I want you to decorate it with some finesse. Show me what you can do on top of a cupcake. Yeah? Now, this thing here, the kitchen kitty. I want you to look at that box and take it serious. We're going to sell those cupcakes. We'll split into two teams. Half of you will bake, and half of you will try to convince our prison officers to buy your cupcakes. I'll be a seller. You'll be a seller. I'm a seller. Can you get your hands out of your pocket? Stop playing with yourself. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, no, no, but I, I need. I need. I need. I need. I need. Please, please, please. The baking team have to do is follow my simple fairy cake recipe. Put the flour in your sugar. Put the flour in your We put all the salt in there. Oh, Jesus. I oh, couldn't see it. You got glasses on. Put them on the night. A pinch of salt. What does a pinch mean? Right. They're all committing GBH against cakes round here. Guys, 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 look at me. All of you stop. We've all put the fucking butter into the flour. Fucking hell, who would have thought a fucking cupcake would fucking throw that away? Jeez. Really a little cool for cupcakes where I come from, you know what I mean? The prisoners just can't concentrate. Oh, yes, <laughs> David Jones, an ex-soldier, is addicted to heroin. He became a thief to feed his habit. Don't worry, let's too hard. Back in the oven for 30 seconds. Yeah, just like that, and I'll, I'll, I'll help you again. Okay. I haven't seen the family for 20 years. I knew what it was like either on drugs or without drugs, you know? I was a bastard. I don't want to fail. I'm sick of failing. You know, I'm sick of it. Not getting somewhere or not being someone. Habitual offender Lawrence does seem to care about what he's doing. They're fine. But if we rush them, they're going to be raw. Then you'll poison the officers. How's that going to go down? That'll be the most insane RV. Holy crap, we were talking cupcakes, it's so difficult. David Jones troubled, and he just got carried away and completely screwed his up. But uh, first I thought that was going to be a disaster. Lawrence seemed to know what he was doing. I do cook sometimes, but it doesn't hurt to learn something, does it? Well, I've had pubs before through my life. If I'd have been out to cook properly, then maybe I'd have done different things in my life and not ended up back in jail. Those not cooking cakes are selling them. There must be some sharp entrepreneurs here. 
they need a brand. Hey, what's the name? I don't know what you call it. Sweet cheese. Now these domestic goddesses are going to decorate their fairy cakes. Let the imagination go. And don't forget, we're selling these. It's great decoration that sells a cupcake. Put the glitter on at the end, otherwise you're going to be going back, looking like a bunch of fairies coated in glitter. Designs range from disastrous... The fucking nozzles that go inside the bag. <laughs> ...to the delectable. It's a customised cupcake. And the damn right dodgy. Oh, it's supposed to be. This one? Yeah. It's in the space, isn't it, with the stars? Yeah, that, that's fine when you're, when you're on crack. You're not on crack now, so we're not talking space. <laughs> <laughs> the glittering should be sprinkled lightly. Okay, well, I saw the runs on top of that one. I am not going to sell that, yeah, next to that. Let me tell you. What, which one would you buy? Thank you very much. But one burglar has done a lovely little job. Did you seriously do that? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did he do it? <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Beautiful. Okay. No, we're not, no, 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 you're not going to have that one yourself. We're selling them. <laughs> Stop. No, 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 we're going to sell them. Back in the cupcake marketing department, the ruthless criminals can't resist a little bit of glitter. Cupcakes poster designed by a test for over there. You know, we you know promoted your name in it so we could sell more. Right. You know, real taste of prison. Yeah. It's like the colours. The complex cupcake shop is popping up just outside A Wing. You like four? Yeah. Brilliant. Selling them are my hustlers, Anthony Kelly and Tesla Jones. Yeah. They can start earning some legit cash here. Hey, Pandich. Yes, What's your charge of two people? You look all right. I'm trying to get a pound. Great. Do you want a couple? Uh, yeah, can I have? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's great. One of the strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Well then, did you say the pound? Yeah, I'm watching you like a hawk. I'm damn right, I keep rolling fucking kitty box every time you think that's going to disappear. <laughs> so that's 49 quid we've taken, 20 of which is profit. And this little box is beginning of something pretty major. Because I can turn 40 quid into 4 grand a week. It's going to take a lot of sweat, yeah. pain. Yeah. Now I'm going to think long and hard about who from this group will make my final 12. Are you scared of hard work? I'm not scared of hard work at all. I've done it in the past, you know what I mean? It's just that it, I think it depends on what I'm doing. The big question is, when was the last time you worked 60 hours in a week? Straight work? Yeah. Never. Never. If you've been injured at work, we have the experience to help turn your situation around. So talk to us about how we can help make a real difference for you through your super. Morris Blackburn Lawyers. Experience you can count on. I've been in Brixton prison for a week to get prisoners cooking on the inside to sell on the outside. I've got six months to make my project a success. What job did you have before you got in prison? It's not good. I've never worked, mate. I'm ashamed of it, sir, really. The government wants to double the numbers of prisoners grafting and are looking to expand their working prison scheme. It's easier life in jail than it is outside. Hey, you you've got everything done for you. But even the Justice Secretary believes prisons aren't delivering as they should. It obviously don't work. So, if it don't work, you need to fix it. During the cupcake test, I observed all my convicts up close. And back at home, I'm going to choose my 12 bad boys for my brigade. Where do you start? It's been hard to get 12, because they're all the same. They're all shit. And they're all... They've all got issues. Why should they be sat there 18, 19 hours a day 
in a non-productive cell are doing jack shit. <sighs> Norris Gibbons, Jerry, he's 45 years of age, 79 convictions. And where the hell do you start with that? How do you get this guy disciplined? I don't care about any of the victims in any of my cases all through my life, right? But if I can better myself, get something out of it, it's better than doing nothing. Thief Tesla Jones is a career criminal. He's been inside seven times. If you're in prison and you're serving a long time, you start to get used to your whole surroundings. They call it institutionalised, yeah, right? You start to get institutionalised and, and it becomes nothing. It becomes, it becomes a holiday camp. These men don't even understand the concept of an honest day's work. Anthony Kelly, he's never had a job in his life, and yet he's got the gift of the gap. Burglary, and look at him. He's a big sort of happy-go-lucky, almost like a big puppy. Who would have thought he's going to be putting a bad clover on at half past two in the fucking morning? It's weird, it's almost like they go inside, they get sentenced, and they become little boys. Prison don't change people, people change themselves. I think I've got, old, I've, got, I've got tired of it, I've got tired of this old bollocks, the same old shit. It's that these fuckers tell me what to do, so when they want, I mean, I'm sick of it. I'm sick to the back teeth of it. But you know what, You've got, everyone's got to have enough pain before they stop. What I've got to look for is the passion, the hunger. This is not sat on your ass. We're going to hopefully generate, you know, a, a busy bloody kitchen. I've chosen my bad boy's dirty dozen. This is the team who will work in my pilot business. Guys, come over. Come over, come over. This lot don't know what's going to hit them. How are you feeling? Good morning, you good? How are you? You look cold. Yeah, yeah. Cool that, yeah cool. Come on. Oh, right, 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 each and every one of you are going to be putting back into this prison. You are the first, 12, to get this business going. It's not about pissing around with glitter. This is real, and it's going to get tougher. We're running a business. You're going to learn, yeah? You're going to earn, and you're going to put back inside to this prison. How's that how you feel? Great. Good. Good. Can't wait to start grafting, you know, and here, get in the kitchen, start cooking. I like these prisoners, we all need tough love. It's like the love your mum will give you. And remember, we're in prison. We need to be bloody told off. This is my first day teaching the Bad Boys Brigade. To get more done, I've radically changed these prisoners' routine. They're eating in the kitchen, not in their cells. The guys will lock up here. They know, they know when they're going to get out of their cell. They know what time they're going to be locked up. Any change to that, it messes the system up, it messes with their head. But when things change, that's when, when, when things start going wrong. Sure enough, just the idea of change has sent Lawrence Gibbons off on one. What's wrong? He's thrown a hissy fit. He wants to eat in his cell where he keeps his tomato sauce. Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, is that you cutting completely? Well, that's it. Could you, um, you take him back to the wing, please? Losing Lawrence is bad enough, but his walkout spreads dissent in the ranks. Fuck off, let him back on with 
and I'm watching teamwork going on here. The man wants his sauce for his food, bro. I don't understand. It's still the reality. Is the biggest picture is shit in it. It's the big, but I'm trying to say it's the biggest picture is shit in it. Even when you're trying to speak, you're trying to speak. There's a story for you, bro. And I'm getting charged for this one. I said, I'm only saying. But you're talking all over me, bro. We're in jobs. We're getting, we're getting a little, a little. There's something to do. Fucking sauce. Yes. What I want to do, listen, there's a big difference between talking to each other and shouting at each other. Let's talk nicely. And let's remember, we're a team. Let's say it's their routine. And the minute you change one little thing, bang. They're like a bunch of fucking babies. And you're just realising what a shambles this so-called brigade is turning out to be. I don't think he's going to hang on to them. They're acting against any kind of authority, really, when they're told to do something. To stand a chance of getting this scheme to work in the time I've got, we need to be selling the product to the public in four weeks' time. I want to prove to these guys that they can work together as a unit. So, I've got a plan, but it's a very ambitious plan that could make or break them. I'm going to put them under intense pressure and get them to cook an entire meal for the whole prison. <laughs> Dow Hatfield is in charge of Brixton's prison kitchen. Morning, sir. Hello, Gordon. Are you well? Yeah, fine. I want permission to make a chili con carne for the 800 inmates. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to ask um, if I could borrow this kitchen for a day. What I want to do is get them in here cooking. So can I come up with a dish and cook for the prison? The evening meal? The main meal, please. With your new brigade? With my... yeah. That's a massive task for you and a new brigade. But the prison specifications say that we provide a minimum of five choices. Five choices every day? Yeah. Shit, I can't just do one dish. No. We've got customers that have no choice to go anywhere else. The customers here get very upset if their meals are messed with. Screw up and we can have a riot on our hands. We hit the deadline. 4.15? Yeah. We must hit that deadline. Well, Gordon Ramsay's Gordon Ramsay. But for someone to come in here and be in charge of 12 people who have never done any form of catering, never mind, produce five main dishes, I can't believe the task he's taken on. This whole idea, you know, has just turned out to be a, a head fuck, to be honest, because now, We've got to offer five choices. He says customers, I say prisoners. He says choices, I say fuck off. You sure they wouldn't like any fucking blini and caviar to start? Terry White Chemart has real deals on all your favourite brands, like 50% off Nature's Way Kid Smart Vita Gummies and 20% off Sustain Multidose Preservative Free Range. Get real deals every day at Terry White Chemart, dedicated to care. You said more cheese, please, and Domino's has delivered. Try our new barbecue steak and beef double cheese pizza for just 12 bucks. Or upgrade to a double decadence crust for double the deliciousness. Get more from Domino's. I've chosen my bad boys brigade for my startup business in Brixton Prison. This morning, I'm getting them up two hours early. I'm challenging my rookies to work as a team to make dinner for the entire prison. So what are they like generally getting up early in the morning? It all depends on anyone's been watching my own film. The brigade can't cook and constantly bicker, but if they pull it off, my business may be in with a chance. Okay. That's so I've got to launch a product made by them to the public in a month's time. That's so I mean, it always feels like we're breaking in. It's so weird. But there's an eerie silence. Morning, Ray. Really. Uh, oh. It's 6.30. My brigade is a man down after Lawrence walked out. Hello, mate. You got two minutes? Yeah. Right now, I need all the help I can get, and Lawrence is one of the best cooks I've got. Tempers aren't afraid that bad that we're going to chin someone. Chubby. Sure. Do you know what, where I'm coming from on this one? 
We're the same age. There's a quite a nice level of maturity. No, no, I'm still you're quite a calm influence over them. Do you know why? Because you don't tire the shit. And I'm not here to push buttons. Now I'm here to help. The last time I catered for 800 people, I had a team of 45 fully trained chefs. This time, I've got 12 novices who couldn't make scrambled eggs. At least Lawrence has agreed to come back. Let's go, guys. Quick, quick, quick. Ronnie, let's go. Come over, guys. The 800 prisoners always eat in their cells, but we're not improving prison food. My aim is to see if the brigade can carry this off. If they can, I might finally have a team. We're, we're 30 minutes behind already. Five main courses. Start off with a chili. Halal, 150 portions. 250 portions of a normal chili. After that, we got two vegetarian dishes. One vegan, one vegetarian. 50 portions of vegan and 100 portions of a vegetarian bake. After that, we're going to do a chicken and mushroom pie. 100 portions. Uh, guys, guys, yeah, I need the veg. Yeah, so I can start the stock. Once I've got the stock rolling, I can start actually making the chili. Because we've got 400 portions on. Veg prep is 90% of the battle. I'm taking a really big risk and putting argumentative Tesla Jones in charge. T, yeah. you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Nice and calm. Yeah. And we're working as a team. Yeah. yeah, you're part of that team. Yeah. So I want you to come across like a team member. Right. Let's go. You've got to do 40 trades. Look how bad these potatoes are. Eh? Yeah, this is what we get in prison. This is what we've got to work with. Everybody on the outside could see that we're not living in luxury. Eh? As you don't think you'll put that in your pot, would you? Hmm? I've never seen anything like what Warner Rams is doing. I'm not saying that he's, he's, he's going to change me and I'm going to come out and I'm going to be a big change man and, you know what I mean, I'm going to heaven all of a sudden and stuff like that. What? It's something that you can hold on to. One career criminal I want to stop ducking and diving is Lawrence. I put him in charge of the main dish of the day, chili con carne. Awesome, Lawrence. You've got two. Lawrence is up against it. Fresh chairs. He may not be a team player, but he's not afraid of new experiences. I've tried most things. I think the best, the best thing in like the late 80s, early 90s, was the drugs, the drug game. Everyone had a good time. Pastry, how are you doing? You got shortcuts on the bottom, puff paste on top, yeah? Have a look for it in the fridge. Cockney Anthony Kelly is running the bakery section. They've got 250 portions of chicken and mushroom pies to make. Common sense, really. What is this? Do what is this? We've been going two hours. The pies are on track, but elsewhere, we're in trouble. We're running behind, and the vegetable section is backing us up because we're, we're struggling. With 800 servings of roast potatoes to prepare, Tesla and the veg team are in deep waters, and it's freezing. What do you mean too cold? Yeah, we need to be the awesome man with you. That's too cold. That's freezing. No, it's cold. Get out of here, will you? That's... You? Freezing. What's the matter with you? No, nothing. Do some gloves? No, it's A wetsuit to get the potatoes out? I'm beginning to think these prisoners are mollycoddled. Do you know what I'm starting to see so early on? I think it's too easy. Do you know One of the boys told me last night he was watching telly all night. Lawrence, yeah. I can't watch television all night. Well, I can't watch TV from all this morning. So it's easier inside than it is on the outside. If you can wang the system and get what you, what you need, especially you, then it's sorted, isn't it? Everyone's playing on about the re-offending percentage, but you can see why it is. Almost it's like a sort of a little personal hotel in their neighbourhood. I can't believe it. The bakery section is flying. Anthony and David have got 11 huge pies ready. David's barely, you know, standing up. Anthony's sweating like a pig. How are you? So it's like a, it's like a kitchen of misfits. However, they're not giving up. That's the most important part. It's only two, three, four, six o'clock in the morning. We've been here fucking day. We've got our bottles off. Fair play to his day. Come on, get us here on the floor. We will go to the fuck all in. 
And you know what? This might be the turning point. Well, I'll never come out of prison again. I'll become a good father. I'll become a fucking big ass. People who love me. So instead of that, every fucking down. Half an hour to go, and my main courses are almost done. Okay, Steve. Yeah. Rolling along. Back in the road. So work as a team, guys. But Tesla and his team still have 40 trays of potatoes to roast. The final orders are in from the wings, and Lawrence's hard work has paid off. His chili is ready. The boys are pulling out all the stops. This has been a massive task, and I think I may have a team at last. Yeah, we're ready, we're ready. Ten of us come out today, we've worked our bottles all together, and, the, and everything's on time. And tell you know what, I bet the food's better than usual. Now I'm going to give the call, concentrate, don't start shouting over each other. Roast potatoes, one way! I feel that you've done something, is it? Productive. So you're doing the work, that pain will equal money. Come on, I need to be calling G-Wing for their tea in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chili comes calling. I'm coming. Coming is no good. Oh. Lighten up. Oh. Oh. Basically, made dinner for 800 people. Oh. 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 I'm off to G-Wing to find out what our customers think. Oh. 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 It looks much better than last time. It looks better than last time? Yeah, I can see onions on top. Last time it was just black color. All right, and a uh, proper onion gravy. Yeah, you can see the difference. Right? Where are you from? Lithuania. Lithuania. Yeah. Yeah. Well, lovely Dublin, mate. Yeah. What do you have? Hello. Yeah, hello, one. Hello, two. Yeah, yeah. nice. Lovely, mate. Maybe there's some more in there. I honestly didn't think we were going to make that this morning. We set them a task. I didn't think it was possible to pull it off. And I was slightly concerned that they were going to shy away from six, seven. Oh! Eight hour day. I've been on that big turn and it's been a long one. But it's, it's, gone, it's gone well. God, they were lively. Huh? Unfortunately, it's not all good news. Back at the kitchen, there's been a serious incident. Right, guys, let's go. T, Lawrence, I need you for two minutes, please. Seriously, guys, this is where I think that I've been let down today because I've just been told that we've found this in the dressing room and someone's been nicking onions chilies and garlic uh, look, look, look 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 guys no no really yeah, yeah it makes me feel stupid we cannot steal from the kitchen anyone who does this belong to i'll talk i'll talk about it yeah, I thought I, I, I wasn't staying. I just took some money. Okay. I thought they were spirits, so I took some money. Okay. Who else took it? Yeah. Oh, I took it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. We cannot take anything out of the kitchen. Next week, it'll be a knife. No chance. We stop now. I just saw it as a bit of, as, as a perk, innit? I just saw it as a perk. I took the... I look at me. See. I've been cooking, cooking See. myself. That yes. gets me yeah. into serious shit. I, I, so look I, I at me. Thinking. But you're letting me yeah. down and you let your team down. I it's dealt with. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I just thought there was extras. Yeah. What I don't want to do now is falling out and arguing with each other. That's the problem. They get one little issue and it becomes massive and they flip. What a fucking job. What are them embarrassments? Well, don't say to me nothing, yeah? Easy, easy. It's all done. It's all said and done, bro. No, I mean. Once the rowing starts, no one backs down. This lot will argue about anything. Hey guys, guys, let's finish on the high. Let's finish on the high. Let's not waste ten hours of graft. I can't believe, after all their great teamwork and success, my brigade's falling apart in front of my eyes. Oh, That's all I'm saying, isn't it? No, 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 no. Because you don't think I'm taking it out and everybody else for it. I'm not going to go back. Who is that? You're missing out for everybody else. That's it, from today, I'm finished. I'm finished. What's going on? I was coming back. There's no discourse. I'm not doing it. No, no, no. That's it. There were some good workers there today. I mean, 
some really good workers, and the ones that I thought weren't going to work and stay focused, did. Yeah, I'm over a barrel in many ways because I could, I could be sick short within a 30 second argument, and that's that's the knife edge. My biggest problem is going to be keeping the team together. That's where I, that's where I've got my work cut out because there's so many feisty, insecure characters that it's almost built on a stack of cards. This is Rob. He's a dentist. He uses Oral B gum and enamel. It neutralizes bacteria to revitalize your gums in two weeks and strengthens your enamel. For strong teeth and revitalized gums. Gums Rob, not guns. Oral B. P2 gives you more control by letting you approve, see, and manage payments in your online banking. P2. I'll just turn that off. Thank you. I've given myself six months in Brixton Prison to set up a pilot business. Thank you. My hope? To try and get prisoners cooking on the inside to sell on the outside. Here we go again. But I'm handcuffed before I even start. There's six locked gates between me and my production kitchen. And I haven't got the keys. It's harder being a control freak because everything you do in the kitchen, you're in charge and in control of. Here, it's they're in control of you. That's the big difference. I want to see if prisoners can pay something back. So, to get them earning, I'm going to try and set up a catering business behind bars. Out of the 800 men locked up in Brixton, I've chosen 12 bad boys for my brigade. I'm not really a troublemaker, you know. I'm a kind of a good person, that's what I think. But obviously, people take me the wrong way, innit? Like, like more like, innit? You have a light and you hate me, innit? minutes to get through six locked doors and finally make it into my new kitchen. Thank you. This is it. This is where it's all going to happen. I mean, this is the engine room of my prison business. And those prisoners are going to be working their asses off in here. But what chance do I stand of getting a full day's work out of convicted criminals. They're not here for no reason. They, some of these people are dangerous. So he's got to, he's got to be careful. They've got a reaction when they don't stop and think. They're just gonna stand there and argue the toss. And this is where the ante goes up and up and up. One of my brigade who likes to up the ante is Jerome Samuels. I've got a bad reputation, isn't it? I've kind of basic and Back chat and the to officers, isn't it? There's people like that that are against you. This one is see you fail. For continually disrespecting officers on A Wing, he's been put onto a basic routine, which means losing valued privileges on the wing. So that when you be good, good things come to you. When you're bad, bad things come to you. Sorry. And the one that hurts most is no TV. See in prison, what the eye don't see. It's a little bit. 
TV. Listen, be in your secret. Having smuggled a TV set into his basic cell is clear. Jerome doesn't care about authority. God help me. They got pressures from the outside, pressures of courts, pressures of being in prison. That's why our job is talking to people. If I thought it was impossible, don't think I could do my job. I've got to believe that there's a hope that you can actually make some sort of difference. Before I can set up a business, I've got to teach my brigade to cook. But running a kitchen in a prison means getting my head around a whole new level of security. So, I've got my bell keys. Can I get rid of this fucking whistle? Sorry, I mean, I mean... Ah, uh, you've got to keep it up with something happening. Okay. So you have to keep hold of the whistle? Oh, thanks. The prisoners have to use knives to become chefs. And the governor has agreed to let them have their own sets, but under strict conditions. At the end of the session, you must account for these tools in the hands of someone who intends to do some damage to another person. That is one lethal weapon. To protect me, as well as the prisoners, access to the knives will be strictly controlled at all times. And this has to stay locked every time, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Worryingly for me, the one thing I haven't got is the key to the exit. Let's go to the show, yeah, thank you. I'm starting to feel like the prisoners aren't the only ones who are banged up. Yeah, morning, morning. You good? Morning. You well? Yeah, thanks. Yeah? The last time this lot worked together, it almost fell apart. Right, guys, hats on, please. So, I want to make a few things clear. My kitchen, my rules, every time you walk through those doors, understand we're coming here to what? Uh, we cannot start pissing around, joking around, when we piss around and the job's not getting done, you're going to hear me, guys. Right, this is where I'm up against it here. These things. If one of those goes missing, this place can get shut down in minutes. And if somebody does that to me, to the team, I'm going to be so pissed off. Okay? Right, all of you get into pairs and find a section. If this lot are going to graft alongside me, they need to know how to cook. Yeah, man. But even making a simple soup and baking bread is an uphill struggle. One desert spoon, yeah? One litre of boiling water onto one desert spoon, yeah? So we're looking for two litres, so it's two spoons in this one. Yeah, we can do it. You know what I mean? We've got this opportunity and we can do it. And hopefully it actually does change my life, innit? Like, well, I'll get a qualification, I'll come out and get a job like I'm straight like that, innit? Hey, it's a bit hard. It feels hard. It's wrong. Softly. Mr. Wyatt. Mr. Wyatt. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, how long would it be? It should hopefully just be about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're keen to learn, but everything's rigid in here, and they get taken away when they're called upon. Paul Wyatt's a recovering heroin addict. A staggering 62% of prisoners start their sentences as drug users. Paul can't get through the day without a dose of methadone. I started taking heroin when I was about 16, 17. Then I started taking the crack till I was 23. That's when things got really out of control. You don't start taking drugs thinking, yeah, I'm going to be a junkie. You know what I mean? You think you can control it. At 16, Paul wanted to be a chef, but only lasted a few months at Cajun College. I had the biggest mistake of my life, taking drugs. Now I'm going to kiss for that. Fucking hell. Why is the door locked? Why can't we just have the fucking door open? Well, we're prisoners, innit? Prisoners or not, this system's doing my nutting. What it's doing is just screwing up. Any chance of getting anything done efficiently and what's it be like if we do go into production and we are busy? I mean, opening a locker, plug up for a chopping board, no ladles because they're not etched. I mean, what are these guys going to do with a chopping board? Lawrence, number six, where's your box? It's the moment of truth. Time to get the knives out. Chopping knife, yeah? If we're going to make any money out of this kitchen, 
My brigade have to have the tools to do the job. Off you go. Be careful. However dangerous they may be. B. Ricardo. The next number. This is time like this. I wish you guys were just internet fraud. Not gun crimes. Got internet fraud. I can have the whole thing open every day. No one's here to try and play around with knives. I haven't seen anyone that's behaving as if they want to use the knife or be miscellaneous with the knife or anything like that. No. Can you stick it up, please? Understand it in knives, but you're in the kitchen. In this kitchen, I've got criminals, not chefs. One of them, Lawrence Gibbons, has got a list of convictions as long as my arm. My first thing was uh, robbing post offices. I'm with some old man, I needed some money going on. And he said, when I was your age, I was out robbing banks. And when I got arrested and I was in Canterbury prison on demand, my old man came up and he visit. And he punched me straight in the nose. <laughs> you see, I never told you to get caught, did I, fucking idiot? The guy's 45 years of age. He's stuck in his ways, and I've seen him work bloody good. I mean, he can graft, but he has a temper. I mean, a big temper. Guys, taste as well, don't forget. Yeah, no one's tasting. Yeah? For this business to work, all my brigade have got to become a team. But Lawrence can't seem to work alongside Rene Smith. Changes. And it's a very subtle change. It feels unsettled. The place can be rough. And sometimes it's over the slightest thing. Oh, you want to play, you want to play, you want to play. I'm a man down, but I'm 
I'm certain it's for the good of the brigade. He's up to it now. Bloody frustrated. What a great shame, because when he puts his head down, he can grasp. kitchen all the knives have been handed in but there's a serious problem guys this is a speed peeler no one's leaving until that speed peeler's found can everyone look for it please a speed peeler i.e a potato peeler in here the blade of a potato peeler is as dangerous as a knife and in the wrong hands could be used as a lethal weapon so they'll manufacture tools from anything, from chair legs, they might sharpen the ends, they'll find some toothbrushes, they'll maybe uh, put a couple of razor blades on the ends. They're usually two blades and they're usually just slightly separated, so when they do cut, it's for hard to sew back up again. No one can go, no one can go to the bathroom until that's found. <laughs> Three hours into the day, and now my kitchen's in lockdown. What a disaster. You know, five and knives. Acting away, didn't kick it off, and then now speed peeler. Do you know what I mean? blade missing. That's the kind of shit we could be uh, in. And no one knows where it is. Do you know what I mean? We've looked all through this kitchen. But now security have been called in and have taken over. Well, we've better leave um, because the peel is gone and uh, everyone's been uh, searched now rigorously because, yeah, this is where it might end up. Basically, the tool. If it was taken apart and reassembled in a different fashion, then it could be a dangerous weapon. turned over. Bloody hell. My team thought they had counted out 12 peelers. That was our mistake. Security strip searched the prisoners and only then checked the infantry to discover there were only ever 11 peelers. It stresses the fact that this is the consequences of us making a mistake. I suppose we got to it quick before the strip, yeah. before the search. That's yeah. it. Security come in, shut us down, everyone, you know, close off and it's like, oh no. And so, it, yeah. you know, that's, ah, uh, fuck up, and the first Yeah, yeah we've got yeah. strip search. Okay. Oh, strip, they took us start naked. Yeah. He may not want to directly say it to us, but the eyes don't lie. You understand? The eyes don't lie. And the attitude we got yesterday is like, you know, some thief bastards. Yeah, right now, we, we're supposed to behave like what? Like, a trainee chefs, innit? But we got treated like criminals in... In the kitchen, because we're prisoners. That's what it is. If it was in a normal kitchen on the outside, check open up missing, mark it, buy a new one. Morning, gents. My team made a counting error, but I think security should have checked the infantry before the strip search. For the sake of my business, I've got to get the guys back on side, and that means facing up to our mistakes. Right, listen, first of all, yeah, I'm going to apologise for the humiliation. We didn't lose a peeler, yeah? 11 came in. We should have double-checked. Anyone got anything else to say about it? Yeah, cool. Right, right, right. Got everything what you got done, take that time. That's done. That's done. Well, all right, then. I'm depending on these guys to work alongside me. And after this cock-up, I really owe them. Bowie knife, baseball knife. Right, don't cut yourself. We need a money-making product that can launch this business. So while they carry on learning with my assistant, G, I'm off to test out some recipes. I've got a hunch that combining some childhood favourites of mine might just give us the edge. It's never good for me growing up with all that little bit of, ooh, luxury. And it tastes delicious. So, first up, 
A classic with a twist. Lemon curd, treacle tart. Jamie, into the oven. Yeah, yeah. carefully. I've got to shake that for you. Why do you want to do the hard way? Huh? And using the lemon curd base again for a different spin on a bake well. It's the kind of stuff for me that I grew up with. My mum used to run a little tea house called the Cobweb Tea House Restaurant. And the only thing I ever wanted was either carrot cake, bake wall tart, or treacle tart. It was so delicious. It may work, it may not work. It may be too lemony. Uh, you never know unless you try. So, thank you. Two colors, bronze bass, followed by Michael Pye's burger, yes? Really, how long for that charge? The bake well's not quite the unique taste I'm looking for. The product I feel could have selling power is the lemon treacle tart. Fucking delicious. Sorry. Lemon curd, it's because that double, double, double deliciousness. I mean, honestly, it's rich, it's creamy, and it's just, wow, that works. I think this tart is the kind of standout product we need to build a business on. So today, I'm taking my biggest gamble yet. I'm not only going to put the tart to the test. So it's a hundred little loaves. Yeah. We'll cut them in half. Yeah. Uh, scones, a hundred. Yeah. I want to take advantage of everything the boys have learned to bake so far and sell it all in bulk to the public. Yeah, we've got the best kitchen in Brooklyn here. It's got to get fired up. Everything's got to be full. If all these ovens are full and then it's time, then we'll, you know, I'll feel a little bit more relaxed. When you go, buy this, it's for prisoners, or should they be given a chance to that? Especially with the crime rate that he supposedly is. Good luck. <laughs> right, guys, come round, please. Quickly, come round, come round. Listen, we're going to be setting up an opening for the first time. Yeah? A 